Today, looking at several very affordable ways, free actually, to record professional quality sound with your iPad. Before we get to the iPad, I just wanna say that this microphone is the one I'm using today, and it is a powerhouse that's very affordable. It's the Samsung Q2U. I would say right now, it's one of my very favorite affordable microphones that you can get. This thing is $70, it's USB and XLR. You can also plug in headphones, and it comes with a mic stand. And the sound quality is very good, and in particular for a $70 microphone. Speaking of headphones, the ones I'm using are just a very cheap pair from Sony. These are like $10 on Amazon. But for monitoring voiceovers or podcasts, that kind of thing, these are more than fine. And so now we'll take a look at the iPad. So what I'm demoing today is really geared more towards doing voiceover or podcasting. But this could be used for recording instruments or vocals or really whatever you wanna do. And the first app I'm gonna look at is GarageBand. This is a free app, works on iPad or iPhone. So I go into audio recorder, and then I wanna do voice. Now in here, I don't wanna do lead vocals because we're doing a narration. So I'll go down to narrator. And then I wanna do two more things. First, I wanna turn off this metronome, and then I'll check the input, input one. And so now I'll set the levels for the mic. And you can either set it to automatic or you can adjust it manually. And I'll adjust this manually. And then I'll also turn on my monitor Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, one, two, check, check one, two, check one, two. Using mics like this in GarageBand, I find you gotta really crank up the gain for better or worse. And then one thing you wanna do before you start recording is set this to be on automatic. That way you can continue to roll on your voiceover. Headphones on, check one, two, check, 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 check one, two. And now we'll roll on a voiceover. Hey guys, this is Blake Calhoun and a test voiceover using the Samsung Q2 and the iPad Pro. And I'm recording into GarageBand. This is just a test. And then when you're done in GarageBand, of course the cool thing is you can actually edit in GarageBand. And so you can apply some EQ or some effects where you can trim it. But if you didn't want to edit in GarageBand, you could just export the file out, share it to another app or your computer. But GarageBand is pretty powerful. It's not only a recording app, but as an editing app. All right, and now I'm using another app from Shure. It's called Shure Motive. And this is designed for Shure microphones, but it'll work with any mic. It's very simple, but you can definitely get good results. So the first thing I would do is make sure that the settings are what I want. Basically, you can choose 24-bit or 16-bit, 1 kilohertz or 48. I typically do everything at 24-bit, 48K. By the way, same thing with GarageBand and then the next app I'm going to show. And so then next I would actually set the level of this microphone. And again, in this app, you need to apply a lot of gain. I'm up to almost 100%. Check one, two, check one, two. And so now I'll record a test voiceover in here. This is a test voiceover recording using the Samsung Q2U and the Shure Motive app. I'm Blake Calhoun, and I find it pretty incredible what you can do today using an iPad or an iPhone with very affordable gear. And then you could share this into another app for editing, or you could just export it and use it as is. All right, and then the last app I'm gonna look at today, this is a free app also, it's called Ferrite. But now Ferrite does have a paid version. The free version has a lot of decent control in it. You do get more controls with the paid version, but really for recording simple voiceovers or podcasting, the free version will do almost everything you need. And so I've already got everything set up. There's really not that much to do besides confirming what you are actually recording, the codec, etc. And so right now I'm recording lossless files. And then you want to set your level. And there we go. I'm up almost to about 100% again on the gain, input gain. It'll really just depend on what mic you're using. I'm going to put it around 90%. And that's really pretty much it. And now I'll record a sample voiceover. Hey guys, this is Blake Calhoun recording a sample voiceover with the Samsung Q2 microphone into Ferrite on my iPad Pro. This is just a sample. 
But again, it is pretty remarkable what you can do using a free app and a $70 microphone. And then your recording is here. So you could, again, share it if you're ready to send it to another app for editing or just to upload it as is. But within Ferrite, you can edit in Ferrite, which is nice. You can trim. And in the paid version, there's a lot of different EQ and effects you can add, including denoising, which can be really important depending on what you're doing. My workflow tends to be to record on the iPad and then edit on my computer. But that'll just depend on whatever you want to do and what apps you have at your disposal. And if you're brand new to recording audio with a mobile device, you might consider enrolling in my course, Smartphone Audio Production 101. I also have courses on cinematography, color grading, and a dedicated course to learn Filmic Pro. Links for all these are in the description. So this is just really the tip of the iceberg, what you can do with the iPad, but also keeping it affordable. Affordable microphone, affordable apps, many of these are free. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now granted, you do have to have the iPad, but it doesn't have to be an iPad Pro. You could also use your phone. It could be an iPhone or an Android, depending on the app. And so for me, it's just really cool today what you can do without spending a lot of money. Thanks for watching guys, this is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.